hi guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while but i'm back and we're back in the makeup chair just because i've not done makeup in the longest time and today i've brought you the ultimate full coverage sweat proof makeup for this hot weather that we've been having hence the lack of makeup videos it's just been too hot to be sitting doing makeup but i did think obviously this is the makeup that i've been wearing if i'm like going out in this heat and yeah i love it so much so i thought i would share you we've literally just done the base focusing on the base and yeah i love it this is it nice and full coverage but still like not too much subtle but glam and yeah like i say it doesn't budge in this heat so yeah if you want to see how i've got the ultimate full coverage sweat proof base Make sure you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and please keep on watching. Hi guys. It's a rare sight in. Wait, I'm back in the hot seat, and we're gonna do just a simple ultimate base for this weather, <laughs> because it has been hot, and it's still really hot. We've had rain this week, thank God. But it is like really hot. So I just thought we're going to do an ultimate base. I feel like I've got my base on point now. I've got a few new products and stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to do an ultimate base. We're going to see it. We're going to catch up because it's been a while. I must admit, I am vlogging this week as well. So I'm upsetting you in that. But yeah, I've been gone and I'm really sorry about it. But I feel like <laughs> I've been saying it for a while now. But I slowly feel like my mojo is getting back. So, right, let's just get on with it. Um, I've done my soap brows as always. So, always if you do soap brows, do them before you start your makeup. Just because obviously the soap and that, if you put it on afterwards, it will ruin your makeup. And then going in with a moisturiser. I'm going in with the Inky List Amiga Wall Cream. And as you just heard, it's nearly out already because I've literally been loving it. Yeah, like it's a new product that I ball and i literally love it it's like a thinner moisturizer obviously it's a water-based moisturizer so you don't feel like you've got as much on it. especially in this heat you don't like the bleeder is quite thick so obviously in this heat you feel a bit sweaty and stuff so going in with like a water-based cream is a lot better but you're still getting that look glow moisture really really like this i will be repurchasing it for sure i've then got my next little combo that i've been using for like my skin before i go in with a foundation and it's pretty much primers but not so this is a primer this is the elf poreless putty primer so i have been using this for quite a while now this is a dupe for the toucher what does that used to be called skin something i can't remember what it was called but it's i loved it i mean this is back maybe right at the beginning of the youtube days where i used to go on about it because i remember i went to new york like just before i started youtube and i got it there because obviously you can only get it in america but like i had like the mini tester of it because it's so expensive so like touch up the the main the big size was i think it was like 80 pounds 80 dollars for it so like who unless you're one really rich and want to spend that money on a primer like i wouldn't even want to even if i had all the money in the world like i love the primer don't get me wrong but like who is spending that much money on one makeup product product like it's, it's unreal but yeah i had the mini one loved it but that is a dupe for it and obviously it's elf like it's literally so cheap so i just put that in my t section and it like minimizes your pores fills them in which we love i don't i always say this but i'm not like a big primer person but if i am using a primer it is oh, let's just come out onto my shorts it is one that's gonna like pour fill on my skin then i'm going in with the vive skin dew now this is unreal it's like a lip gloss texture that's how it feels it smells unbelievable but it gives your skin like a nice little glow. So obviously I am a Hollywood Flawless Filter fangirl. Love it. But I've been using the Skin Dew as well lately. And I also really like this. I I use the Skin Dew quite a bit like on its own. Like if I don't want to put makeup on. Because it just sort of like melts into the skin. It don't 
like the flawless filter comes in shades that doesn't it literally just melts into your skin and gives it a nice little glow so it does sort of do the same thing as flawless filter but without the coverage so like if i want like to look like i've literally got nothing on my skin but make it look healthy i'll just go home with that but i am obviously going to go in with a foundation over this so i feel like i'm gonna do full coverage today it is a hot day but this makeup is sweat proof so that's why we're gonna go in with it so if i'm doing full coverage best believe i'm going in with my nars natural radiant as always like I mean, to be fair, I don't use this as much anymore. When I first started makeup, it was all I ever used. But I have become more of like a sheer glow, like soft, tinted moisturiser kind of girl. Um, so I don't really go in with full coverage as much anymore. But if I am, best believe it is this. I used this the other day and I was like... Oh. I remember why I love this so much. I still do use it all the time with my clients, so I'm just talking about on my, I've had the sniffles, hence why I wasn't around last week. I worked very well, but I've had these sniffles now for the longest time. I'm just a bit fed up of it. But yeah, on my clients, I still use this every single time. I never use anything else when it comes to my clients, unless they, like, I know that they don't want a lot of makeup on or whatever, in which I would go in with, like, Nar Sheer Glow. It would always still be a Nars moment 90% of the time. But yeah, I'm just gonna pat this into the skin. That way we get the best coverage. I mean, it looks a bit crazy right now because I did burn my face a little bit, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. My face is looking a little bit red at the moment. So that's why it's not really <laughs> matching. But we will blend it so that it's, it is. And once I like add my cream bronzer and stuff it will it will make it work but yeah i'm just patting this into the skin i love using like a dense brush for the most like full coverage base do you know what i mean if you're going for that kind of look you want to have a dense brush and like pat it in the only time i don't use a dense brush is if i don't want it to be as super full coverage but like I say, with like my clients and that, I normally do keep it to being full coverage. Just because I feel like when you come to get your makeup done, that is what you are looking for. Unless you say otherwise. Do you know what I mean? That is that all blended out. I'm now going to talk to you about concealer that, wow, I have been obsessed with. Do you know what? I got it ages ago. I don't know if you remember. This was in like a super drug haul in like the longest time ago because like as you are fully aware i've not done a super drug haul in the longest time but trust me it's coming it is coming but yeah i got this age ago it's the juvious place concealer and i remember liking it when i done it but like it's very full coverage so i think at that time i was going through like my light makeup kind of way but i used this again this other day when i went in with just the skin dew i weren't going in with a foundation i just went in with this concealer because it's so full coverage it was unreal like it's so good this is in the shade 15 i think this is a little bit dark like this will be fine for now but like i'm probably gonna have to go in with another concealer to give me that brightening effect because this is pretty much the same colour. So I do need to get lighter of this shade. I'm getting a lighter shade of the concealer. Um, but it's unreal. It is so full coverage. So like I say, when I'm like just wanting to put a little bit of makeup on, I'll go in with that. Because obviously where it's full coverage, it like it covers everything that you need covering without going in with a lot if that makes sense so i've been literally loving it but yeah like i say i'm gonna have to lighten it a little bit because obviously as you can see like when i blend this out it is pretty much the same as the base that i've got on but i have been loving it i can't believe i stopped using it not like stopped using it because i didn't like it but ugh, it's so hard when you've got so much makeup and like, I like so many different things. Like I forget about things that I like and that. And then it'll be like months later, I think, oh, let me change it up. Let me try something again. And that's literally what happened. I tried it again and I was like, oh my God, I remembered I loved this. Really, really good coverage. If you want a full coverage and you can get Juvia Space in Super Drug. Well, like my one you can. I'm pretty sure they do it in a lot of the Super Drugs now. But I was actually 
at Saffron's the other day, and because I've not been in the Superdrug in so long, they said actually you can get Morphe in some of the Superdrugs now. It is so hot. This is why it's been really hard to like film at the moment as well because like it's been so hot that like, sitting in front of lights doing makeup has not been appealing. So yeah. That's another reason why everything's just not been leading me to doing makeup. But yeah, so I think Morphe and that do super drug now. So I am really looking forward to doing a little super drug haul once I get my mojo back. A hundred percent will be. But yeah, that is all blended out. Like I said, I'm gonna go in with just a bit of my tart, just in light medium, and literally just right in the corner just to lighten it a little tiny bit just to give that brightening effect yeah the dubious place i got in 15 i think at the time because it, like it looks a lot lighter and then you open it up and then it's quite dark so yeah i will be getting another shade in it because i absolutely love it it doesn't crease like it literally just looks so airbrushed and flawless but yeah that's helped a little bit that's just given a little bit of a brightening effect so again i'm patting when i buff this out and i'm using a dense brush i feel like a dense brush as well under the eyes giving you full coverage basically the moral of the story is patting and dense brushes give you ultimate full coverage base then for cream contour this is my new favorite cream contour product it's the jordana tisha bronzer duo this is in the shade so yacht this is so good for cream bronzer and again i'm using a dense angled brush and i'm patting it in the side of my cheekbones oh look at that already giving me a lift and define on my cheekbones and this just blends out so nice it's not too intense that it like is hard to blend it sort of is more buildable but i prefer that because yeah and like i said it's, it don't go like muddy and you can build it up to how intense you want it and it's not too dark like the shade of it so like i feel like i can go in with bronzer afterwards like always do anyway but like some cream like contours they're so dark that i only go in with like a tiny bit of bronzer afterwards but with this i feel like it's a good balance to go in with like both if that makes sense so i'm just doing around my forehead as well again i'm still patting not like doing strokes or being like heavy handed if i do do a little stroke let's say like that i'm doing it lightly like do you know what i mean you're not going backwards and forwards with it because otherwise that's when it all like pick up the underneath product and you'll go patchy and like muddy so you just want to do it nice and like to again get the ultimate base okay this is like a good beginner's way of doing your makeup again obviously it depends how you like your makeup whether you like a lot or like a small amount but all i'd say is like you do the same steps the same like tips and tricks mat like matter but just go in with less product or more of a sheer product say like the foundation go in with like a lighter foundation that's a bit more sheer but you still want to be patting it because also this is not going to budge like in this heat and when you're going like out for your day events like this isn't going to budge and that's because i'm patting it and pressing it into the skin and making sure it's all set when you like don't set it and just like brush it onto the skin it's just going to slide off it's literally just going to wipe away and that's why you say to me, oh, my makeup don't ever last as much, that is long. And that is why. I'm then going to take my NARS uh, Orgasm Cream Blush. I literally love this cream blush. It is so bright, but I love it. So I like to warm it up on the back of my hand. And then you can like, pat it out so it's not too intense. I mean, it still is intense. And then I'm just going to pat it on my cheeks. But it's just such a beautiful blush. Like, literally unreal. And then again, I'm still patting it, pushing it in. I'm gonna need to do my nose contour, I forgot. But I should do this. So I literally go to town with the blush. We love a blush moment. Just a, I feel like it just brings life back into your skin, makes it look a bit more natural and rather than being like all one colour. So my same brush, this brush I feel like is my oldest and longest brush that I've always just used. It's my DB7 from Doll Beauty. 
and I use this for my nose contour. It's one of the brushes that I like never change. Like all my brushes sort of stay the same, like roughly, but like I've got like three or whatever of the brush. So like a blusher brush, I've got three that I like. This is the one and only. And I'm just gonna use this to do my little lines down the side of my nose, like that. And then underneath to lift it. And then all our creams are done. We're gonna set it. So I've been using an oldie, but goldie, <laughs> as always. It's the Laura Mercier. But I've not been used. I've not used a sponge in the longest time. I think because it's been so hot, I just feel like the sponge isn't doing it for me. So what I do is I get like my powder brush that I would use for like a pressed powder, say. But I've been using this, and I've just been pressing in the product. So like always, concealer brush at hand. But like I'll get quite a bit on my powder brush put out any of the lines and then i will literally push it in and like i feel like that way you get the most like airbrushed finish but also it really locks in like with all the oils like I, it don't come off like it just does not sweat off like my makeup has been lasting very well considering how hot it's been like obviously like i said i've been working a little bit more so like i've been going to work and obviously i want to make myself a little bit more presentable so i've been going in with makeup but like putting this on and it's not not budging i do feel like pushing it in like look at the difference so much more airbrushed flawless unreal and then yeah same again on the other right so pan it out because we don't want to set and increase in and then pushing in that powder and yeah if you're still not setting your makeup like there's actually no point you put makeup on because i know like everyone loves like the glowy look but like you just need to make sure you're knowing where to set it and like in the right places you know what i mean because you can still achieve that glowy look but like if you're not setting you might as well not be doing your makeup because it's just gonna slide off your face like when people tell me they don't use powder i'm like sorry what like how are you not using powder how like what is the point i'm just gonna go over my brows because i've got the you know when your brows like need doing because mine definitely do they're so outgrown um i'm probably gonna get them done next week but like i feel like when they get outgrown they don't do anything <laughs> they don't like last they just flop over because my eyebrows are very curly like i do have naturally curly hair like not like curly curly but it's definitely got a wave in it i've got obviously my baby curls and stuff so my brows my brows are so curly and when they get longer they get curlier so they just don't do anything so i've had to re-go over them a little bit right then we're gonna do bronzer so this jordan t-shirt does have bronzer at the top i don't really use it that much though i do like it but I prefer using a different bronzer. I'm gonna go in with, I'm actually gonna go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I just feel like this is quite like more of a natural colouring. Yeah, so I just feel like this is oh, a little less intense, but like I said, when I've got the cream contour and this on, I feel like it looks the best. And again, I'm still patting, or again, like I say, going really, if I want to do a little thing like that, I'm literally going so lightly, like not hardly putting anything, like any pressure. Because, yeah, we don't want to go in like, because mm, otherwise you're just going to pick up all that product. Like, I do lessons with makeup and I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I literally say to everyone, like, with makeup, you just need to be light-handed, like, really just... Take your time with it, like everyone, I feel like everyone starts when they're like that, doing like that, but that's like the complete opposite. Like everyone does it, like I'm like, it's not like bad if you do it because that's natural, a lot of people do do that, but I'm like, no, that's the complete wrong way to do it. Right, I'm going to pick up again the powder, but just brushing it rather than baking. It still gives the same effect, like it still cleans it up, gives you that sharp look. But just without baking. Yeah, like light handed is the way forward. And yeah, like everything, like even like the swiping, like everything, I'm like, like, it's 
the complete opposite. We don't want no swiping. We don't want a heavy handed. We want like patting in really light handed. Like, it's so funny. I don't know who first taught makeup how to do it because like, everyone like growing up that is how you talk makeup makeup like it's i don't know i don't know what happened to be honest oh i don't even know if i'm making sense but do you know what i mean i've got to blow my nose because this is ridiculous so i know i just had to blow my nose so i'm just <laughs> re patting that right then we want to go in with blush i'm going in with my life's a peach is this the shade yep life's a peach absolutely stunning blush and this is a new one and i feel like it's got like my other one is older and like it's different packaging so i feel like it's actually different formula i think it's more like matte whereas this one's got a lovely glow to it a bit like my mod melon dollar baby like how i like that with a little bit of a glow and yeah like i said i'm gonna go in with a lot of blush because we love blush like that and then i'm gonna go in with a new setting spray i've been using and i've been really enjoying what one is it this one i bought too many i don't remember i remember my look fantastic car so i bought too many as well i'm out of one already and this one i'm nearly out of as well but it's the benefit the poor professional super setter so good so so good i love the mist on it and again like, i feel like my makeup's just been lasting so much better but i'm running out i'm gonna get the new like the bigger bottle i think because i really like it so then i'm just gonna let that sink in obviously when you do your spraying or your face you don't want to like start moving your face a lot because you're gonna then obviously like get creasing because you've just set your face like it's gonna be a bit wet do you know what i mean you don't want to start smiling a lot because we'll get all the lines so we just try to keep a neutral face let that sink in and then going in with my mac soft and gentle just adding glow to my face i'm not going to do anything on the eyes today apart from like mascara because this is all about the base and that is literally my base done but, like look how airbrushed flawless full coverage it is i literally love 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 this base i feel like the products that i've not spoken to about a lot before is definitely this concealer like, i've not spoken a lot about this concealer and it honestly you need to try it it's so good the skin dew the sleeve skin dew again this is also running out a lot of my makeup's running out i feel like i'm gonna have to do a big massive order of the things that i've literally been loving because i get like that i'm very much like once i find a product i love i will absolutely rinse it then i'll stop for ages then i'll like find it again rinse it again like i go through phases quite a lot but yeah these two definitely and even the amiga water cream actually i've got four these four are like new in my makeup and i have not put them down so yeah dubious pally no dubious place concealer obviously i'm just gonna get a light shade the vive skin dew also beautiful if you've got the charlotte tilbury i wouldn't say you need to go out and get this but it is definitely a different consistency a different texture like i said it's more like a lip balm going onto the skin so it just like melts into the skin so it is really beautiful it smells unbelievable as well like i want to eat it the omega water cream from the inky list summer moisturizer 100 percent the walida don't get me wrong still love it when it comes to the winter and gets a bit cooler i will be back using my walida but for the summer because this is water based unreal and then yeah this new benefit the poor professional super setter also been really loving because it's different like i mean i do believe in a, a setting spray not just to keep it in place but to bring like my skin back to life like i feel like without a setter you sort of look, get that cakey look and yeah obviously i love the all night art that's a bit more expensive i don't know how much this is actually and whether it's i think it is a little bit cheaper than the all night art but i do need to have a look but yeah, I just love the mist on that. It reminds me a lot of the Morphe mist. The Morphe's obviously a lot cheaper. This is now run out though. It don't come out as a mist. It shots you in the face. I do really like that as like another alternative. But yeah, I'm just going to quickly go off camera, finish my mascara and my lips. And then I'll be back. But yeah, this is my skin. Look, it is like completely airbrushed. I literally love this base ultimate full coverage base sweat proof it's not gonna budge come on. and i don't feel like i've got a lot on i know it's like full coverage and people are like oh how can you wear that much makeup in the summer and don't get me wrong i am very much so like 
wearing less makeup in this heat but if i'm going out and i think oh but i need a full face on like we're going out now this makeup is sweat proof but it doesn't feel like i've got a lot on and yeah it just looks really nice so yeah i'm gonna be back in a minute and this is the finished makeup i've i straightened my hair and then i just tied it up and it's gone crazy again brilliant oh well i'm past the point of caring it gets too hot in the pub anyway because i'm off to work now I'm working girl these days but yeah this is the makeup literally oh, chef's kiss love it uh just added a bit of mascara and my usual little lip combo and yeah that is my ultimate base it won't come off i might add a clip tonight when i finish work so you can see that it's not budged because i've got that much trust in it but yeah that is the video thanks for watching if you liked please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already because we've got some fun videos coming so yeah make sure you subscribe to stay with us and yeah comment down below if you like to see from me and yeah i love you all so much see you later Mwah.